I'm joined here this morning by Steffi Gondola. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. So I know you guys had a very busy summer. So what's going on now? Well, there's a couple things I'd like to talk about this morning. First of all, experiencing Thunder Bay virtually, and then we'll talk about some upcoming events we have. So I wanted to remind folks about our social media, and we've had a couple of fun campaigns lately on both Twitter and Facebook, and it's, it's a great place to engage with the sanctuary from the comfort of your own home or from work, from your phone, if you're allowed to do that at work. Um, so our Twitter account handle is uh, at Thunder Bay Rec, and our most recent campaign is 30 Days of Recs. And so we've taken a, a historical photo or an underwater photo and then given a little tidbit of history to share on Twitter. And it's actually gone, if I may say, viral. I mean, folks from all over the world have been retweeting. And so that's a great way to engage with the sanctuary. And then our Facebook page, of course, we're always sharing um, you know, trivia, historical um, knowledge, um, photos all the time, and info about our upcoming events. Perfect. So how can people get to your Facebook page? Facebook is um, Thunder Bay Shipwrecks. Okay, perfect. And what else is going on at NOAA? So a couple of up upcoming events. We are just starting, just launching our, our field trip season. And I know you talked with Harriet Smith last week about that. In fact, I'll be getting back to um, the sanctuary this afternoon here to work with about 100 fourth graders. So we've got all of our field trips this fall. Um, we also have our annual trick or treat through the haunted ship coming up on, for Halloween of course, on October 24th. So we do that in partnership with the downtown um, uh, association's trick or treat or trunk or treat event. And that brings out hundreds and hundreds of kids. And so we love to see those um, after they're the downtown trick or treating, they come to the sanctuary. And then after that, it's time to start thinking about Christmas shopping, if you can believe it. And we like to remind folks there's the sanctuary store. And we're always restocking with new um, maritime gifts. And we also have other stuff. It's not just the maritime. Of course, we have the maritime movies, maritime books, um, artwork. But then there's uh, all sorts of logo wear, all sorts of scientific uh, toys and games for kids. So remember to shop at the Sanctuary Store this Christmas season. And then we also have our uh, annual Christmas Tree Ship educational program. And that's a lot of fun. We talk about the actual historical Christmas Tree Ship, the Ralph Simmons, that went down with a load of Christmas trees. And it's, it's a great children's story and we turn it into an active program. And teachers around the community can either check out the, the educational trunk to do that program themselves, or they can um, invite the sanctuary staff members to come in and, and present it to the class. So that's, that's a fun one. So they'll come to the actual school to present this if, yep. if wanted? Yeah, yeah, we've done that before. Just contact the education team at the sanctuary. Um, or else you can, if, if schedules don't mesh, you could also just check out the trunk and, and do it um, in your classroom yourself. And do you have an exact date or when this is going to happen, or you guys are still kind of planning process? Still planning process. It's usually the, the second, it's usually the first or second week of December. Perfect. All right, well, thank you, Stephanie.